Well, to talk about all of this, I'm joined by the Government's Skills and Enterprise Minister, Matt Hancock, and Labour's Rachel Reeves, the Shadow Secretary of State for Work and Pensions. Well, Rachel, the biggest ever quarterly rise in employment. That's great for Britain, isn't it? It is good news that unemployment is falling and employment's increasing. But as Sarah said in her presentation, there are some more worrying signs, particularly that wages continue to go up a slower rate than prices. So families still struggling with the, the increasing cost of living at a time when their wages are standing still. But so there's lots of worrying signs for you as well. I mean, when you think that Ed Miliband said that the government's programme would clear lead to the disappearance of a million jobs. Ed Ball said that we're in for a lost decade of slow growth and high unemployment. Well, They're not here. You can admit that they were wrong, can't you? Well, David Cameron's been Prime Minister for almost four years now, and for three of those years, the economy flatlined, and as a oh, result... But they were promising a lost decade. Well, you know, since the financial crisis in 2008, we have had very difficult times for families and we are not six a, years... Not a lost decade, though. Kathy, we're six years on and living standards still haven't um, uh, reached where they were uh, back then. The economy is still smaller than it was six years ago. So, look, there's no time for complacency. Families no are £1,600 worse off than they were... OK, but there's no point ago. talking about an alternative economic policy from the opposition now because you might as well just do what they're doing. Well, I think the families up and down the country would like a little bit more than that. They'd like to see their living standards start to rise again. They'd like to see uh, prices, particularly of gas and electricity bills, start to come down. Right. They'd like to see well, their money go a bit further. So you let know, me put that's that point. still very, very tough for families. Let me put that there. point to Matt. I mean, a lot of people don't feel they're any better off. Well, absolutely. This has been a difficult time. You know, when the economy shrinks by over 7%, as it did in the Great Recession, you know, that has an impact on family finances. And we've got a long-term plan. I've sat in this studio talking about how we need to get control you of the economy. You need an immediate plan for people who are struggling and they're people you should be supporting. Well, I mean, as the fact I, as, that more as working saying, households are in poverty in the UK than non-working households, that's a problem for you, isn't it? Well, as I was saying, you know, we've, we've got this plan, we're working through the plan, and it's clearly starting to come to fruition. And the, the numbers today are very good news. They're very good news for every single family who's, you know, in which somebody's found a job. Um, but making sure that people feel that is really important. You know, the fact is that the, uh, the, the numbers on, uh, on average earnings that you and Rachel were talking about, they're before tax. We've made tax cuts, especially for the least well paid. Also, tax cuts. And that, hold on. People earning more yeah, than £150,000. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, tax cuts, very nice actually, tax, tax cuts. cuts across the board focused on the well, least well-paid. Well, including those on £150,000. Yeah, but, but, the, but no. we're talking about the middle. How do you help people in the middle? You help them by getting the tax bills down. Well, you get, you help them by um, having a recovery at all, which will be put at risk. And you help them by making sure that their money goes as far as possible. And one example is petrol. One example let is Rachel petrol. Let Rachel speak there, please. The you know, tax. if you look at the numbers from the Institute of Fiscal Studies, you know, the expert body on this, the arbiters, if you like, they say that... If you take into account all of the tax and the tax credit and the benefit changes, the average family are about £800 worse off. But and if you look at what's happened to, is to wages... To fade. Not my words, no, but the MPC member Ben Broadbent. Well, no, that's interesting, Cathy, because if you look at the numbers today, uh, prices are going up by 2%, wages are going up by 0.9%. So wages are going up at half the rate of prices. And in the last uh, four years, since David Cameron became Prime Minister, the average family are £1,600 worse off. So okay. things are incredibly tough for families with the cost okay. of living well, crisis. Of Forget, there's how, how is it? there's think, a really think, important point there, which is that, you know, this April, every family on the basic rate, every worker on the basic rate, will get a tax cut, cut worth another £400 because the threshold goes to 10000 before you pay any tax. This offsets the fact that, of course, when the economy shrinks, as it did in the Great Recession under Labour, that has an impact okay, on let, the whole... OK, let economy. me move on now to interest rates, because are we looking here... I mean, forget green shoots, are we looking at a boom? Well, on the specifics of interest rates, you know that I'm not going to comment on the Bank of England. But are we looking at a boom? Tell me that first. We're looking at the early stages of a recovery, and we've absolutely got to keep it on track. So you know, you've got to be cautious about raising we, interest uh, rates. You know, it's, it's unusual for me to come and talk about the economy and me be the one saying, you know, that was a very positive report in the package. We've got to be very careful that we don't knock it off track, that we keep 
working through the plan, that we don't you know, ruin the public finances again by letting go. We've so got no to, early interest rate rise? We've, I, I'm not going to talk about interest rates, but what I will talk about is making sure we stick to the long-term plan because it's clearly working. Matt Hancock, Rachel Reeves, thank you very much for joining me. John.